The Hai Van Pass is the most famous road in Vietnam for motorbiking. In this video I'm going to explain what is the Hai Van Pass, how the Hai Van Pass became so popular, why you should drive the Hai Van Pass, why you shouldn't drive the Hai Van Pass, and how to rent a motorbike for the Hai Van Pass. So let's get started. The Hai Van Pass is a coastal road that connects the famous tourist town of Hoi An to the old city of Hue. En route is also Da Nang City, which is a modern and bustling place. The Hai Van Pass shows off mountains on one side with spectacular coast on the other, and it looks way out deep into the sea. How the Hai Van Pass became so popular. The Hai Van Pass's fame started with the Top Gear Vietnam Special. If you haven't seen it, Go and watch it now. There is a scene of the lad sitting at the top of the pass watching a fishing boat plodding along down in the sea below. This is a metaphor for Vietnam, says Clarkson, whilst overlooking a pristine and beautiful view. That image really is a metaphor for Vietnam. The second reason the Hai Van Pass has become popular is that it is so easy to do and very accessible. The Hai Van Pass is separated by two tourist destinations. Hoi An and Hue, and it isn't actually very long to drive. Hoi An to Hue via the high van can be done in sub five hours. For the backpacker wanting to tick the box of motorbiking Vietnam without actually doing it, here is their chance. Naturally, the market opens up to incredibly cheap motorbike rentals that connect the two cities together. Easy rider options are also available. This is the idea of sitting on the back of a motorbike driven by a Vietnamese tour guide. The final reason it has become so popular is that a tunnel was built through the pass for cars and trucks. Motorbikes can't go through this tunnel, so they are forced onto the winding pass instead. In theory, this means the high van pass doesn't have many four-wheeled vehicles on it. In reality, it remains to be a fairly busy road. Here are some reasons you should drive the high van pass. If you are not a motorcyclist and you have no intention of committing to a long journey on a motorbike, then here is your chance to tick that box of motorbiking Vietnam. The high van pass enables the casual rider on a normal tourist holiday to have a glimmer into the world of motorbiking Vietnam. There are plenty of incredibly cheap motorbike rental options for driving the high van pass. Rock bottom prices making your thrill seek a pretty cheap one. There will be hundreds of other backpackers in a similar boat to yourself on the pass, many of who have never driven a motorbike. When you tell your friends and family about Vietnam, they are likely to have heard of the high van. Can you really face telling people that you haven't been on it? It is a once in a lifetime opportunity, as they say. As of 2021, the high van pass has turned into a loop using another tunnel. This means you don't even need to change hotels or destinations for the journey. That really does make it so convenient. Here are some reasons you shouldn't drive the high van pass. It is a nice road, but there are plenty of better roads in Vietnam. This acclaimed fame distracts travelers from doing the truly amazing roads that Vietnam has to offer. The alternative road to the Hai Van Pass just so happens to be the Ho Chi Minh Road, which is actually one of the best roads to drive in the country. Safety is a problem and the Hai Van Pass enables very inexperienced people to find themselves on a motorbike on a twisty and busy mountain road. It doesn't take much to point out that this is a pretty dangerous situation. To make matters worse, it is very easy for locals to make money offering cowboy and low quality motorbike rentals on the pass. Scooters that should be in a scrapyard instead find themselves with a new lease of life and on a mountain road with riders who have no idea what they are doing. Again, a bit of a safety disaster. Although one could argue the high van pass in itself isn't that busy, to get there requires going on one of the busiest highways in the country. Yet another safety disaster. How to rent a motorbike on the high van pass. Ticket does offer motorbike rentals for the high van pass, but it isn't something we specialize in and there are other ways of doing it. Let me explain. You see, our motorbikes are in a condition where we expect them to travel the entire country without issues, whereas the high van pass specialist companies have motorbikes that are designed for surviving a single day. A $200 scooter for the high van pass versus a $1,000 scooter in a condition designed for all of Vietnam. Although I've tried to figure out a way, it does make it very hard for us to compete price-wise on the local scale of this tourist-based operation. Most of the companies operating this area even link up to hotels, provide a motorbike drop-off direct to your doorstep. Safety really isn't a concern at all and they throw in $2 helmets to go along with the bike. This just isn't something I can do. So yep, 
we can't compete. All right, so safety aside, the Hive Amp Pass is great, and all you need to do is ask your hotel to get you started. The alternative, of course, is to get yourself an Easy Rider driver, which, again, can usually be arranged for a hotel. If you want a bit of safety and don't care about money, then feel free to use us for the High Van Pass route. For everyone else, please like and subscribe, and remember to stay safe when driving this incredible road. Thanks for watching.